So well, let's get started. We are going to lay down or start in a, a seated position here. And Lisa, go ahead and um, to the front. And then there we go. And now you can come to the back. And making sure that if you have any cervical spine issues um, into the neck, you might want to choose a pillow or something so that your head feels nice and level. Now, if you're just coming out of surgeries, you're going to feel super tight into um, your chest level and, and just opening up. It's okay. I want you to know, I mean, it's okay that you feel the tightness there. You don't overextend and overdo immediately. Um, you would just want to take it little by little. So the biggest thing here is just to be gentle with yourself. So be gentle in the process. Take a deep breath here and start to relax and just notice how your body feels over the roller. But as you yeah, stay here, and just reach it up to the ceiling or up to the sky. And right from here, you want to bring your fingertips up to the ceiling and then bring your shoulder blade back down. So we start reaching for the sky and notice how that feels. Now, if you've had a lumpectomy or if you've had any um, lymph nodes removed and you have some scar tissue underneath your armpit muscle, you're going to want to really pay attention to how that's feeling and what, what's going on there. So sometimes it takes a few times just to even get the gliding movement, which you guys are doing great, of lifting up and back down again. And take those fingertips, take your fingertips and reach them even further over onto your ribs. So it's even further. So you're going to go over onto the other side here, right where your arm is. And then feel as your arm is reaching behind you or above your head. So let your arm drop and let it keep reaching above you. That what happens to your rib cage? So you want to keep your ribs squeezing in and notice what's happening to your abs. So if you feel that your back is popping off of the mat, then bring your arm further back up to this position and let that back stay supported into the mat here, or into the roller. So you won't have me to help you out here, but ideally I love to kind of give a shrug and let that shoulder still stay relaxed. So if you can find somebody to pull on your hand, that's great. But if not, you can just keep on going up and that. So okay, keep relaxing through your shoulders and then bring your ribs and keep them staying tucked in. And sometimes when you start out, it might only be to right here. And that's fine, that's great. I mean, it, it's better off to hear and then we'll eventually get to hear than to start off immediately right here. So that's a better option. So just do a few um, arm circles and take your time with it and see how your movement and how your arm is feeling as you're circling around. There you go. 